What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So I want to give you guys a quick update on the Melofix by API. Again, if you are going to try this as a coral dip, make sure you get the marine Melofix. There are two different types, freshwater and the marine. Again, this is for dipping your coral and this can also be dosed in your tank for sick fish. Now, I only use this for dipping corals and if you see here, I got lucky. I Ended up catching this bristle worm with a big pair of tweezers. He's a little irritated right now, but I want to show you guys how fast this Melifix will actually kill a bristle worm. So, I don't think they're the worst things to have. They are beneficial. They do do work in your reef tank. They are part of a reef tank, but I don't like when they get huge and take over the system. So, this is, let's see here, three ounces of water. My normal dosage for using Melifix is 2.5 mLs of Melifix per one cup. But this is about how much water I actually use when I dip like one new frag. And I put in about two and a half of two and a half mils of the Melifix. And I just want to show you how fast it actually kills flatworms. So let's add this in here. Okay, now this is a big one. These guys, let me stir it up a little bit. These guys should be tougher. Look how, look at it. Look, it's already killed it. It hasn't even been 30 seconds yet. This is the best dip for killing flatworms, or I mean, bristle worms. It also does a nasty number on flatworms, but bristle worms I have found to be quite um, strong when it comes to coral dips. I know that I've used several different types and it barely does anything to them. Now, when I started using the Melifix, I actually dipped a rock and the bristle, the bristle worms like almost died instantly. They were the little babies. And that's why I wanted to try this with a big one. Because the, um, the bigger bristle worms, you know, can be a little bit tougher to kill. They're not as fragile, I guess you could say, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I would just think that an adult is stronger than an infant. But look. It is killing it pretty good. Now, I usually let my coral sit in the Mela Fix. Um, I think the instructions say five minutes, but I usually let it go for like eight to ten. And the cool thing is, is when you're using the Marine Mela Fix, you don't necessarily have to rinse your frags off so much. Like, I usually do like a double dip into tank water. You know, two little separate cups of tank water. Well, I've seen... A buddy literally take them straight out of the Melifix and throw them directly into his display tank with no issues. And I think it's mainly also because this can be used as um, for for you know curing fish of certain type of sicknesses, and so it doesn't really harm anything. But I have also heard of people dosing this in their tank and finding that they have the bristle worms just floating in the water column. And it kills them. Now they don't, it doesn't kill the, you know, amphipods and copepods and all that stuff. But they did see these things start to float around after like the third or fourth day. Look at this. So if this was on a frag in here and you hit the frag with the turkey baster, this thing would just fall right off. Barely any movement whatsoever. Look at that thing. Done. This thing is done. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Wanted to give you this quick little update on how fast Melifix will kill bristle worms. It kills flatworms even quicker. I have seen a video from a buddy. He did a really good close-up and added drop-by-drop 
of Melifix to a little tiny bit of water with a flatworm in it, and the flatworm literally just disintegrates and falls apart, and it was awesome looking. So, I've only dipped um, Softies and LPS. I've done everything from zoanthids, mushrooms, to acans, um, leptos, you know, sophastrias, and I've actually done bird's nests with this, and stylos, and I've had no issues. So, I obviously don't have a bunch of acros or, you know, millies in my tank, so I haven't done them yet, so use caution with that, but otherwise, yeah, Melifix annihilates these things, so. Hope this was helpful, and I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.